Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com and today I'm trying to answer a question for some of you guys that we've been getting over and over and over again. Who is CLIA and how the heck can they shut down the cruise industry? So CLIA is an acronym for the Cruise Lines International Association. Pretty much every cruise line in the entire world has joined this organization and it's a lobbying organization, but more than that, it's essentially the trade organization for the cruise industry. Now, what is interesting is a lot of people think that in some way they are playing the villain in all of this, but it's not really the case at all. So CLIA's primary job is certification for travel advisors. In fact, I've been a CLIA master cruise counselor for almost two decades. And when I got mine at 20 years old, I was the youngest ever at that point, but they've done that for quite a few years. They provide phenomenal education for the travel industry, whether it's highly specialized, talking about certain groups, like catering to accessible travel or something like that. They provide phenomenal education at their different events around the US as well as online. So I, every cruise travel agent should get a CLIA card. Basically what this says is you know what you're doing and you've reached a certain level of certification. In addition to that, CLIA has always looked at the biggest issues that apply to the cruise industry and figure out as they get together how they can solve those as an industry themselves, and then also how they can use that to lobby the government to solve problems as well. Now, there are a few parts of this announcement that really baffle me because I think that CLIA is doing their best for the cruise lines for sure, but we've seen some angst coming from cruisers and other people saying, why the heck were the cruise lines caught so flat-footed and off guard? It makes no sense to me why Royal Caribbean International would not know that this is coming and be able to cancel their sailings prior to it happening. It made them look like they didn't know it was happening, which is even more odd because Adam Goldstein, who was the previous president for Royal Caribbean, went, left that position, actually he was the chairman most recently, but he left that position to go to CLIA and become the president of CLIA. So what we know is that for sure they're looking out for the cruise lines because the people that run CLIA come from the cruise lines themselves. So what I do know unequivocally is that there is zero chance that CLIA would have pulled the plug in the way that they did if they thought there was any chance of the cruise line being able to come together with the CDC and have a resolution. Essentially what they said with this announcement was that they have no reasonable expectation that they'll be able to solve that problem in timely manner. Because keep in mind guys, you can't have these things that are canceled a couple weeks prior to departure because we've already had to cancel and rebook quite a few flights and hotels because we went at this as though we thought that they were going to return to sailing on the 1st of August because at that point, the cruise lines thought that as well. At the end of the day, it's going to be up to the CDC, but the CLIA Cruise Lines International Association members are going to continue to fight tooth and nail to help create what they think are the best plans in the entire industry beyond cruising, the entire health and tourism industry, as far as the best way to travel in the future in the most healthy way possible. So for right now, I hope that you leave watching this video understanding that CLIA is not the villain in all of this. And I don't even know that the CDC is truly the villain in all of this. What the problem is, is that nobody is communicating. And just like any relationship, whether it be a marriage, a friendship, or a business relationship like this, communication is the key. So what we're really hoping to see is that CLIA communicates better with their partner lines and so that they at least know what's coming from them. But more importantly than that, that the CDC communicates with the entire travel industry as a whole, with the American people as a whole, and explains what is happening and what the metrics are to return to some semblance of normal life, whether it be cruising or going out to a local restaurant. So as we navigate these choppy waters of what it looks like to cruise right now, it is even more important than ever to book with a travel advisor and specifically one that is CLIA certified because that means that we have gone through the hoops to make sure that we understand the industry as a whole and that we keep up to date with all of the continual changes. Now with all of these new cancellations, we know that there's going to be a ton of passengers that are going to need to request for a refund, but even more that are going to want to take a bonus future cruise credit and rebook for either later this year or next year. And as your trusted CLIA travel advisors, we recommend that you reach out to Har Travel so that we can help create the vacation of a lifetime for you and your family at an incredible value.